going to talk about a massive game. Of course we are. It's a huge mid-table clash. Um, and uh, it's not just that. It's uh, other football to talk about as well. It's time now to look ahead to this weekend's Premier League action with Now Sports. Premier League Roundup on Talk Sport with a Now Sports membership. Stream the Premier League, EFL, WSL and Scottish Premiership live for just £25 a month for six months without a contract. Offer ends 22nd of January. Search Now Sports, 18 plus, stream via internet, terms apply. This is so interesting, this game. It's so difficult to call as well, isn't it? Because this game should be, you know, Liverpool first or second, Chelsea second, first, third, whatever. But it's not. It's right in the middle. So I don't really know who I fancy in this one. Um, well, the last four games have been draws. I know Liverpool won the last two on the penalty shootout. Mm -hmm. But the last four games before that have been draws. 1-1 one, one and 2-2. And two, two. Um, I was looking at some of the stats as well. Liverpool conceded 25 goals so far this season. That's one less than the whole of last season as mm -hmm. well. No Virgil van Dijk. He won't be playing. No Diaz, no Jota. Firmino's out as well. Um, Nunes should be fit. What, um, what do you make of where Liverpool are at the moment? Are they in the position they're in because... Of the injuries they've had, Virgil Van Dijk missing is huge. Yeah, I mean they've got they've got so many injuries. Liverpool, as you said, they're Van Dijk, Firmino. I think they're talking about Jota. You have got Luis Diaz, um, who's out as well. So they've been hit with horrendous injuries. Liverpool and and so, but Chelsea have been decimated, absolutely dead. Because you look at their inju inju injury injury. <clears throat> so again, wow, why can't you say injury? Don't know. You look at Chelsea's injury list. Oh uh, yeah, I'd love to. And now. you start looking at people, like, even uh, uh, Zakaria, who's done well, good player. Sterling, Pulisic, Mendy, I don't think you'll play. Kanti, Jao Felix with the red card, Reese James, Chilwell, Fofana, Bro Broja. I mean, that, that list is... <laughs> do you know what I mean? That so, nuts, yeah. I, I do think in, in this type of scenario, though, with, with, with the investment that Chelsea are making, the players they're bringing in, moving forward, I do expect Chelsea to get better. I know Liverpool will get better, um, but when you look at the players that Chelsea have, have got out and that are coming back and the new signings, I expect Chelsea to be in a better place come end of the season than Liverpool. They have to, though, right? I think that with the amount of money. It, well, not only because the amount of money, but but now I sort of feel that Graham Potter and Chelsea have got excuses. If all these players come back, then there's no excuses. None. There's none. Yeah. Whereas Liverpool's one, we spoke about the intensity at the minute, a little bit too easy to play against. Even when they play their high line as well, they, they were phenomenal at catching teams offside. But now they're not, they're not getting pressure on the ball, so people are just spinning it in behind and they're causing them problems. Um, it's a really 50 50 game. Because it's at Anfield, you'd probably give Liverpool the, the slight edge. But Chelsea. Um, Chelsea with the new signers if Mudrick mm. plays and the, the, these players that they're bringing in it's always a good game when Liverpool play uh, let's, let's go on sorry what are you saying I can't question you there it's so rude for me I know it is yeah. well, we, go, go on what you can say it's always go a good game when no go on sorry <laughs> no go on what are you going to say what are you going to say I won't cut across you I promise go on no seriously people want to hear no I lie <laughs> uh, Liverpool watch Jurgen Klopp has been speaking to the media ahead of his side's trip to Liverpool tomorrow afternoon Ahead of his side's trip to Liverpool tomorrow afternoon. How's that going to work? Anyway, the game's live on TalkSport tomorrow half past 12. He addressed Chelsea's ridiculous spending this window. If the numbers are somehow true, then it's impressive. But I can't see investment stopping in the, in the future. I believe in coaching. I believe in, in developing. I believe in, in team building and using and all these kind of things. 100%. Meanwhile, the world out there, the, the, the managers are really, really good. I can't, all, all of them. So if they now start like really properly spending and do that, then you cannot not spend or you will have a, a, a little bit of problem. But I don't think Chelsea, for example, can do that now for the next 10 years. In that it's not worrying that um, other teams can spend. It's probably a matter of fact. And um, yeah, and we have to react to that as well, but not just that. He must be so frustrated when oh, he sees no, how much Chelsea have spent. That ne nearly half a billion. That line was exactly what was about to come out of my mouth. When you, I know you'll probably say, no, it's not about that. And Liverpool, to be fair, over the last few years have done it a little bit differently to Chelsea. But And a lot of football fans might say, yeah, but Chelsea, this is what they do, just spend money. But for how successful they've been since they've been doing that, is you can't argue with the fact that it's been, they've been successful doing it this way. Sacking managers, hiring managers, they've been winning trophies. But for, from Jurgen Klopp's perspective, he must just be thinking... I'd love a fraction of that just to go out and just spend and bring in who I want. But the problem that he's got is the club predominantly don't spend copious amounts of money. No, they don't. And now they're up for sale. They're, I mean, they're even less likely to spend any money. But that's why the job that he's done with the recruitment that he's done, uh, that young club's job that he's done is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. But as you said, and, and that's what I meant, going forward, when all their players are back, Chelsea's and, and Liverpool's, just because of the investment and the signings that they've made, I expect coming into the season, Chelsea to be in a better position mm. than Liverpool. Now let's hear from the Chelsea manager now. Graham Potter has also been speaking. He was asked if the £88 million signing in Mikhailo Mudrik is fully focused on Chelsea despite interest in Arsenal. He's come in and he's trained very, very well and he's very happy to be here. So uh, all the other stuff I have no comment on. Um, I think you've just got to help him. Um, <clears throat> help him understand and help everybody understand that he's coming from a different country, different league. 
so we have he has to adapt like i said to us to the to the competition he's a young player that's um got a lot of potential a lot of upside and at the same time he's had some really good experiences already so exciting player uh, it'll be interesting to see if he does play actually two players that won't that have returned to training um, this week are um, James and Chilwell how important are they oh. to Chelsea's success well they they changed the whole dynamics with them to a fit if them two can get back to full fitness and we know that's been the problems the last couple of seasons that they can't but if somehow they can then Chilwell and James they are both really really good level. would Chelsea I mean the, the obvious answer is no mm. I was going to say would Chelsea be with our, if those two are fit I know the answer is no. no. Where would Chelsea be if they were both They're, fit? they pushing top four. Would they? Yeah. They would wouldn't it, be challenging. No, no, they, but, mm, no, because I still think they've got the problem of putting the ball in the back end. They, they're still going to set it forward. That's a very but good they'd point. be up there pushing for top four for sure. With them two, give them such an outlook. We saw first half against Bournemouth, the performance. You only had one of them in Reese James, but the impact that he had on that team is, is he's their best player. Mm. Reese James, he's their best player. So you get them two fullbacks fit, different dimension. Who needs to win more? I think that's such a great question. Because of course Liverpool ninth and Chelsea tenth, but I just I just personally feel there's so much more pressure you know on Graham what? Potter at the moment. That was what I was about to say. I think if you look at the two managers, Jurgen Klopp's got he's got it in the bank. More, listen, he's, yeah. he owns the bank, yeah. So he's, he's got no problems. What's the bank it? of Klopp? <laughs> yeah, the, he's got. He you owns are the right. Bank. Yeah. So he, he's fine. But again, if Graham Potter was to lose another fixture, that's more Chelsea fans have said. See, he's not good enough. Can't can't win any games. We need to get Tuchel back or get someone else in. So I feel like Graham Potter and his Chelsea team need it more. Uh, Jürgen Klopp's 1,000th game in charge. Aspilicueta's 500th game for the club as well. Um, let's talk about those individually. Jürgen Klopp, what have you made of his reign at Liverpool so far? This is just a, a, a blip, you think? Liverpool ninth place? or Yeah, it's just a little blip. He's had injuries, but I mean, how do you argue what, what Jürgen Klopp's done since he's got, got to Liverpool? How, how, he's won everything. There's nothing that he hasn't won, mm. so how, how do you even argue with that? He can't. OK, Aspilicueta is one of the best players Chelsea have had. He's a legend, right? He's won everything. Absolute legend. Again, won a lot. Uh, Champions League, Europa League. Do you know what it is? Is that, he, yeah, of course, his legs are maybe not what they once were and he's not the quickest, but he still competes every single time he's their captain. He's always competitive. He's always difficult to play against. And yeah, I mean, he'll go down as a Chelsea legend for sure mm-hmm. because he's been there... Um, for, I mean, he's been there for, for so long and he's won everything there is to win. So, yeah, he's a Chelsea mm. legend for sure. Yeah, it's a massive game, of course. It's uh, live and exclusive on TalkSport tomorrow at half past 12. The winner, by the way, how about this for an incentive? The winner could go above Brentford. Uh, what was, what... <laughs> Honestly. Andy... <laughs> true as well, true fact. What does it score me? Can you what... imagine that? You... Come on, lads. If we win this, we can go above Brentford. <laughs> God, dear. How times have changed, eh? What's uh, going to happen? Draw. I think Liverpool will win this. They are. Convincingly, yeah. I've got, I've got a sneaky I've got like draw. two or three nil going so I've on. I've got two, two. Because well, who's going to score two for Chelsea? I don't know. Uh, Kai Havertz. But that's what I think the hey, problem is. Mudrick debut. Yeah, well, you know, okay. Sometimes it's written in the stars, right? Yeah. You think two, two? Yeah. I think Liverpool will smash them three, one. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from four on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.